And that's the thing about these Chinese people, okay? They will open their business, they will show up, they will be there to get the job done, which is why they're convenient. And most times people will go to them as Hi y'all, I got my day started early right now. It's 9.05 but I'm in a bit of a pickle. The last couple of days have been extremely, extremely, extremely hot, right? However, I've been wanting to go walk. I haven't walked in days, right? However, I have not been motivated to go walk either. I cannot even lie. But I feel like it's in the moment where you don't feel like it that you should. But I don't feel like going. Oh, I don't know. I just went and paid the rent. Yeah, I just went and paid the rent. And so... <clears throat> and so I'm back. Like, I have a long list of things that I plan to do today. Including, like, going to Dollar Tree and buying like a few little items or whatever but in terms of like personal things for myself I wanted to um I wanted to wake up with pay the rent go on a very long walk come back stop by the Dollar Tree to buy hangers and something else I don't even know but it's in my reminder and I also wanted to go buy a nail salon because yesterday I got money to do my nails and I need to go because most of my fingers have no nails on them and this one <clears throat> is wild I have an inspiration I have a few inspirations to be completely honest of like what I want to get done to my nails but I'm also gonna try like a new nail shop because I find that it's okay just try something else just try someone else even though in my head I don't know if they're gonna be able to give me what I want, but if I don't try, how am I gonna know? So I found that I've been trying to keep things simple so that it wouldn't be hard for them to give me what I'm looking for. However, I also feel like, and I'm not gonna get this at all. However, I also feel like, should you really have to tone down what you want because of what's available I don't know but here's my issue like I could find other nail um, techs however I don't want to go too far I like the convenience of like these boobs being right out the black out there or like the one that I'm gonna try today is literally right over here like close by where I go to get my laundry done so it's like close you know but I'm like I'm like a, a, a simple Nail girl, right? I like the simple things that that like stands out. So like something as simple as that. They're not really showing like that. They all know I love my French. Oh, what I'm going off about. So I don't know. This is what I'm seeing is I don't know. I need to find my little Oh, my thing with my rent receipts. Where did I put the rest of them? Oh, I'm wondering why I don't see. <clears throat> this drawer has so many things in here. I need to buy another one of these folders for like my personal information. I'm already wearing like a sports bra and sort of bucket hat. And I somehow just feel like I should just go right now. It's like I'm already up, so like why not? And it's supposed to rain today. That is my issue. Like the fact that it's supposed to rain is really throwing me off because I wouldn't want to go right at the moment. Nah, it's supposed to rain the whole rest of the day. So like I'm better off going right now. All right, what I'm gonna do is, and I feel like my issue is every time that I do something, I feel like I need to top myself the next day. So the last time that I went on a walk, I walked for 73 minutes and I somehow feel like I need to outdo that right now. So I'm gonna walk for like the next 50 minutes, it's 9, 10 right now. So I'm gonna walk for the next 50 minutes and that'll be it. Okay, it's all, it's it and that's all. And then um, see how the rest of my day goes. 
successfully completed this workout and I'm very excited. My um, watch was saying 71 minutes. I walked all the way around because I was <laughs> looking for a nail salon, which I ended up going out there and that one was not giving. It's still closed at 10.30, so I'm kind of upset about that because, well, maybe this is one of the mornings they had something to do and they like took a little bit longer or whatever, but kind of tight, okay? That I passed all these Chinese stores just to go there and it's not open. And that's the thing about these Chinese people, okay? They will open their business, they will show up, they will be there to get the job done, which is why they're convenient. And most times people will go to them as opposed to anybody else. Because imagine leaving so many stores just to come here for this store to not be open so I can get my nails done. I'm tight. And I went to the Dollar Tree and there were no hangers, so I didn't buy anything else because I was upset too. <laughs> And the man was just like, so you're not going to buy anything else because you're upset. No, no, I want to throw a fit. He's like, okay, maybe we'll have hangers next week. Okay, so I'll wait until next week to not hang up my clothes. I'm so dramatic. Yesterday, somebody told me that I'm so spoiled. Never thought that was true, but whatever. Who's checking? Who's checking who's spoiled or not? But um, oh, I'm so happy with like just how like my body looks from like just walking oh because for a minute walking has been the only exercise i've really been doing and you know i feel good with the progress that i've made so that's good that is for the insta stories babes anyways am i gonna look for something to eat am i gonna try making something to eat i do not even know not really in the mood i think i'm gonna um maybe watch a few videos or so and then shower because I should be having company for at least three hours. And then I think I'll go back and check to see if the stupid ass nail salon is open like when I'm done to see if I can get my nails done because what the hell. So by that time I would have already been showered or whatever. If it's not open, honestly, I'm gonna go out the block and like find the simplest thing for them to give me and that just be it. But today is Friday so like I, w it would be very inconvenient if this place is not open because I would have been better off doing my nails just now out the block. Kinda tight. Honestly, but you know it is what it is. Hi y'all, it's later and as sure as a heart attack enough, I look crazy because I just woke up. As sure as a heart attack enough, I went back out there and the Spanish spot was not open. So I ended up having to just go back to the nail salon and let the Chinese do it. When I went out there, I was very sure that I didn't want the old lady that I got the last time. And when I say old lady, I mean no disrespect, like she is an older lady. I didn't want her to do my nails because I somehow feel like she, maybe she's been doing it for a while, but she just is not the best. And you'd think that with experience, with experience, you know, you know what you're doing, but she just was not the best. And like, I was sure that I didn't want her because too, I was correcting her, not even correcting her. I was telling her, oh, this part needs a little bit more accurate because it's one thing about me. Like I know how to do my nails. And if you guys have been on here for a while, you know that for like the last couple of years, I've been doing my nails myself. So I know what I'm doing. And so I know when one part looks too thin or like when one part needs a little bit more acrylic and so I'm telling her and she's looking some, t I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you. If it needs more, it needs more. Fix it because I'm paying for this, you know what I mean? But I wasn't rude because I'm never normally rude in cases like that, but she did not receive the information very well and I'm like, you know what, whatever. I just know that if I do come back out here, I don't want her. So in the morning, um, when I went on my walk, I had passed the Chinese store. I'm like, damn, I should just go in there right now. But I was contemplating it because I wanted to see if the Spanish shop was open and it wasn't open. So I ended up coming home and going back out there later and it still wasn't. So I went back to the Chinese. When I went in there, I was like, scout. it was kind of full. And I was like scouting out all the people that were there. I know that I wanted somebody who was a little bit younger because that means that they're more hip. And that means that they... Yeah, so that would mean that if they're younger, they're more hip. And the chances of me actually leaving with the style that I want is higher and so i saw this little one and the way how her nails were done they were kind of outlined like i really hope it's showing they were kind of outlined like this hair and i that was a style that i had in my phone so i knew that that was something that i wanted so like this one says beautiful right along the side here and the other one says butterfly y'all can't see it but when I saw her nails I'm like yep I want her I absolutely want her and so I waited and waited and when somebody came for me she's like hi are you ready I'm like I want her and she's like oh, okay 
and so I got her. I didn't ask any questions, I ended up doing a pedicure as well, so I ended up paying $121, and I tipped her $5, like damn. But I always tip, and I never tip less than $5, because if you did a good job, you did a good job. Even the lady who messed it up the last time, I still tipped her $5, because you know, you're a service worker. And so, um, I sat there, and I did a pedicure, and then we transferred to the table to like do my nails, and I saw that she started doing dip powder. So the first, and dip, she, first of all, she got the shape right off a rip. I loved how the shape was now. <laughs> now, I'm just like, yeah, maybe the tops could be a little, they could come in a little bit more, you know? But I'm gonna leave it for a week and then I'm gonna go in myself and like bring the tops in a little bit more. I bought like a white and a black design polish yesterday at work to like go back around it myself because these are little things that I can do. But I said, I'm gonna at least wear it like this for a week. And so, um, she was doing dip and I'm like, you're not using acrylic. And she's like, oh, I specifically just do dip, SNS dip or whatever it's called. Cause I've never had this before. And I'm like, oh, so I'm going to be able to get the same style. And she's like, yeah, she's like, yeah, I can do that. And she said, dip is, is healthier, you know? And it was a little bit quicker. Was it actually? Yeah, it was a little bit quicker to be completely honest. Cause you're just dipping it in there as opposed to like doing all the steps or whatever. And like when she started doing it, I was a little bit worried because I'm like, I don't want this to be thin because when I told her the length that I want, I wanted it a little bit longer. I don't know why, because this right now is like good. And she's like, too long means that it might break a little bit easier. And I'm like, oh, okay, bring it down a little bit more because I'm not, I'm not super crazy about length, you know? I like functionality. And so I was kind of worried, but then I saw that it started thickening up. So like, it's not going to be flimsy or whatever. When she was done, I'm like, amazing. Like, I'm so happy with this. Like she did a good job i tipped her i never had to say to her oh go around this side a little bit more nothing i never had to say anything to her i showed her the style that i wanted once she got it done now that's a little bit more at the end that shit was 53 dollars considering the fact too that i had beautiful and butterfly on there and they typically charge you like what four dollars for like one of these little birds or something like that one of these little decals or whatever and so that may have been the reason why it costed me a little bit more but I left it there happy with it. I never had to say anything to her outside of the first time when I showed her what I want. She never even asked to look at it again, ever. She outlined the first one first and she was like, yes. I looked at it, yes. She kept it pushing. And I love that. I love when I have a positive experience and like I don't have to, you know, and it's not to say that you're always gonna have positive experiences, but I just love that for me. And so I'm gonna be going back to the Chinese because guess what? I found me a little Vivian in there, Vivi, who got my shit done. I don't like Vivi. You know, Lily was sitting right next to Vivi, but Lily played me before. Not really, but kind of. But, you know, now I'm happy I'm here. This morning I woke up and I went for a walk again because this is like, what, two days later? Woke up and I went on a walk and I feel really, really good. I came home and I was tired, so I was sleeping in the dark, okay? So, um, yeah, this is where I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.